Hello and welcome back to Unfall Place. We are going to talk to Fane. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, later. Um, I I should probably come right out and say that I already did uh, Fane's loyalty mission once, and I failed it. <laughs> and uh, originally, I just went on with the game and went actually all the way to the first time you meet Legion. Uh, but. Uh, what's it called? Um, I, I, I discussed it with a friend of mine who's a big, um, you know, Mass Effect fan. And, and she was like, well, <laughs> first off, like, it's, it's not very nice to the character. Second off, well, yes, true that, um, it's, you're able to fail and then just go on the game as if nothing happened. Um, and just have Fane be depressed for the rest of the game. And already failed Garrus, so that was not cool. <laughs> um, so, what, what, what it ended up with being was, I will show you uh, the original, like, laws if you want. I have the footage. If you want to see the original laws, please tell me. I'll, I'll upload it on the video. And you can see my reaction to losing, if you want to see that. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to continue on as if nothing happened. And hopefully this time I won't fa fail him. Shepard. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. I've got time. Take it at your own pace. Thank you. I fear I've already done that for too long. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Oh yeah, uh, the, the 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 shadow broker mentioned your son. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could. Dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father pleads, tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. Oh, God. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. If we're talking about this, he must have contacted you. No, he didn't. But my condition... I've been judging my life. Measuring what I've added and what I've taken away. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become... disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected. No longer whole. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path he should walk. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. 
Thane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help, I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea lines. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled anew. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. I can imagine, man. I can really fucking imagine. Actually, I... I don't know. Well, not... Well... You guys ever get that? Like, you're sitting around at home. Maybe you've been sitting alone a bit. And then suddenly... You'll think about something. And you'll remember it vividly. And it's something that has not happened for years. And for whatever reason, you care about it. And that can actually affect the rest of your day. Ugh. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. I'm kinda proud that you went to me. I mean... Because... We've not actually talked that much. Um... Maybe it's because... Uh... A game is hurrying it along because... We've done so much. So it's kinda like, eh, we gotta get... We gotta get this, this train on the tracks and... Get the show on the road and, and get like to make it possible for the player to get all the loyalty missions, they're kinda hurrying it along, so to speak. Alright, so let's go to the citadel. Citadel. Uh that's really right. there it is. Fuel reserves at fifty percent. And here it is. Here it is. Probably take buy the fuel as well. I know it. And buy some probes. Good. The where is it? Where is it? Help Fane. There we go. Help Fane! Here's what I don't get about the Citadel, by the way. I get that it's meant to have life support and it's actually just meant to lure in organic life forms. Why not make it close to a sun? Like, so it could have a self sufficient uh, health source. I, am I just am I just not seeing the sun? I'm I'm pretty sure there's no sun around the Citadel. It's just kind of floating there in space. Wouldn't it lure organics in more openly if it had a sun? Also, why do the I, I'm, I'm starting to, to um, have a theory on why the Reapers need uh, organic life forms. I think they might need them because of... Um, what's it called? This is a COVID op, so we should bring Kasumi as well. Because of... Like... Oil! Maybe, maybe they run on fossil fuel. I mean, it's silly. It would be silly. But it would also make, kind of make sense, right? They run on fossil fuels and sometimes they just 
run out of it, so, like, what they do is they harvest organic life forms and then they kill them. And then they commit intense amounts of pressure to them. So they can, over the few decades that it takes for them, to, or million years, that, um, that it takes, it can actually, they can produce oil. Maybe? I mean, yeah, they come back every 50,000 years, but that's probably more of a, a way to make sure the resources doesn't deplenish. I don't know. I might just be talking out my ass, but, uh... Someone, um, suggested I, I bring the locust? Um... But yeah. CSEC appears to be investigating the death of Sedonis, Shepard. They currently have no leads. Also, according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Right, we're going to CSEC then. You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. <laughs> Whoa. Well. Well, that might be, uh... It might just be because you're such a... efficient killer. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drell here. There we go. One of my men reported a drell recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake and you should fix the problem yourself. <laughs> I've heard enough. Mouse is usually what upstairs the hell? outside the Dark Star. <laughs> he works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked to Kara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice. Because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. Okay, so where is I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Oh, maybe we should actually buy some stuff. Buy the Sovereign? <laughs> sure, why not? Let's own a copy of. own a model of the Sovereign. That sounds like a good idea. Hey, let me have my arch nemesis on display. Uh. Oh, there he is. Yeah, 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 sure. 
I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. <laughs> what do you want with me? Oh, God. Well, mouse, Be this still, is... Mouse. Uh... You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. That's a good point. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for, they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You always done right by us, but I ain't gonna die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. Said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. You just saved yourself a world of pain, kid. Yeah, right. When Kellum finds out what I've done, I won't live long. And I can't do anything about it but hide. Krios, you got any kindness for me? Put a bullet in Kellum before you go. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead-end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm, smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him, that anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to Bailey. Oh, gosh. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. For 10 credits, we offer data protection for any game we sell. If the copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download a new copy free. That sounds good. Goodbye. Uh, let's see. Also, that sounded like GameStop, pretty much. <laughs> GameStop in Spoon! I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Every store is my favorite store on the Citadel. Let's just be honest here. Where is the good cop? Uh, wasn't he? He was supposed to be around here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Over there. Good. All right, but we'll have to continue next time. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Fan for Plays. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you join me next time for more shenanigans. Until then, bye.